And we're back with uh, more. Welcome other... back, guys. Well, bombing the. Put lovely bombing the hell out of the Clackons. Bombing poops. Okay, so. They conquered here? They have a missile base and a star base. Risky. Yeah, it could or, be risky. Well, Okab would probably be really easy to take. Yeah, but I don't want to Okab. I mean, just to, uh, uh, you know, hit him hard. I would like that, but these guys probably wouldn't be happy. But yet again, they can't afford to have that place. Where's your other, um... Your other military ship transport thing? Hmm? With your other, uh... Uh, some of you are on the planet. Pretty much suppressing the inhabitants. Oh, okay. That's always fun. Yeah. When are your Taco Bell poops done? What, what do you mean? A great Mighty Poo, when are your Taco Bell poops done? Like, have you built any of them yet or no? My Taco Poo Bell Poos? Not, no, not there. Not a snake. They're at um, Great Mighty Poo. No, I haven't built any Taco Bell Poos. They're still being made. Yeah. I might send a fleet of poos back at Great Mighty Poo. Big idea. I'm, I'm keeping some here just to protect the planet. Hopefully they don't uh, fly away real fast when they show up. Okay, it's destroyed for now. That's not too big of a deal. And then they're gonna, if they try to do, um... Uh, no thank you. I'm fine. We've, we built another Taco Bell poop. That's so cool you can name those. Yeah, it is. Three turns, we can wait. They have nothing, right? What do you mean? I know, Cobb. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, they're moving the Sphincter. Okay, then. Sphincter also has a base, though. Yeah, yeah it has a star base. I'm not going to get past it. They won't even be able to bombard them, will they? With that little bit of a fatty force they have. Yeah, pretty much. Send you immediately over the sphincter. The ships travel a lot faster, though, I can tell that. They have the advanced engines on. They probably do. So, in other words, they're gonna be running away from us. Yeah. Got pulse rifles. Better armor. Yeah, they have ion drives. That's why. <laughs> of course. I'm really bad about it. It's so much easier when it actually, you know, we can look at it on Camtasia and whatever. We'll just cut it off like 18 minutes of time. There we go, better. Come Sphincter. So wait, is our fleet still at Sphincter? What? Is our fleet still at Sphincter or they run away? There's... No wait, they jumped back over to Great Mighty Pooh. Yeah, they did. They're just being annoying. <laughs> Why would you say kill them? Yeah. Because I feel like that's their entire fleet. That is their entire fleet, but they just keep running away. What does it mean if he's that color now? Does that mean he's content? And not that means he's been converted to my empire. Good. Now we just need to kill the ones that haven't converted. What who said that? <laughs> yes. Well, with the brain barracks there, will that make them uh, more likely to be content? Yes. Okay. See the little frowny faces? Yeah. Marine Barracks makes them happy. <laughs> well, suppressed, pretty much. <laughs> what? Who said that? Marine Barracks built. Okay. Let's get on the goods. All the good stuff. Let's 
Space Academy. Next video. I think you're good for now. You don't have to farm as much anymore. It's just these... these They move... Are they running away? They're running away. Make them pay for their insolence. Well, for their ignorance by uh, blowing up Okan. Ignorance? Or to their ability to run away with their tail between their legs, whatever you want to call it. I like to call it ignorance because they were stupid thinking they could take you. And your poop. This is my poop. Robo miners. It's pretty much like automated factories, but better. So more production. Uh, we probably need to move a little bit faster. That would be nice. What's next after this? Shield capacitors. Yeah, that's pretty good. Ion drive. Ion... What is it? The pulse cannons are pretty cool because they just affect a structure. So if you're in the route of taking other people's ships, that's nice. Probably go battle scanners. They're pretty important. They make hitting a lot easier? Yes, with lasers and, and such. I take it at a certain point the lasers get really good? Yes, they do. Go ahead and build those while I have a chance. Tony, take the fleet you have to constantly bomb. Yeah. Oh, I'll bomb. Well, can't really bomb them there. They don't have any, um... Do they have any, uh, space, anything there? <laughs> yeah, take, take out that. Take out that. Fleet. Oh, I sent a scoot. Oopsies. But now you can still do your trick thing. True. What are you gonna do, punk? Right, hold on, let me scan him just so I don't get too cocky. Oops. That wasn't a scan, but okay. That's a scan. Oh, they have a leader on there! And what does that mean? You're about to kill their leader? Yeah, uh, that is if they stick on to it. Awesome. I think they sh we should be okay. They do have a little bit extra hitting capabilities because they have a leader on board. Do they have a missile base on the, uh, planet? On the planet? Nope. Yeah. So you just have to take out the frigate. That's it. <laughs> that works! <laughs> Pretty much. You can bombard or invade, but the thing is about- I don't want this planet, but we don't really have that many bombs. So I'm considering invading just to make it quicker. We could probably take him out with that bonus we have. We saw what happened last time. Yeah, that worked pretty good. No, never take alliances. They just want you to get involved with other wars. Uh, are you gonna annihilate it? Yeah, I probably will for for now. Make me money as you die. Is there a way to send that, uh, one guy off the planet to, uh, work through somewhere else? Actually, hmm. Yeah, it is possible. Though, honestly, I might keep it. Because it stretches my boundaries a little bit farther. Gives you basically a base attack from. One turn to sphincter, oh god. Whatever shall I do? Actually, I'm keeping you there if you just... Because if you move them there, the clock on are probably gonna move back over to... You know what? No, that's not what I wanted. How many spies do you have? No spies? Okay, good. Spies? We could try some spying. Are you gonna sabotage them or 
try a little bit of spying with like one spy. <laughs> Hopefully you get like uh, missile bases or something from them. Get some tech. He's retreating to near. It's probably the time to strike. No, when they only have one missile base on the planet. And I don't really care about Okob. They can all sorry about it, guys. They can all die for all I care. See, I'm open to it. <laughs> I'm a great dictator. You don't dictate her correctly. Exactly. Oh, they're heading back now. What, the near? Yeah, they're heading back to near. They should get there by the time you get there. Yeah, they'll get there to the time I get there. They're still gonna retreat anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh. <laughs> sure! <laughs> it's like, over. let's get this over. Please take this. <laughs> this as we kill them anyway, right? Yeah. No, we lost a spy. Oh. Now we got. We got a pollution processor. What does that do? It takes away our pollution we make. You know, all those barrels of oh, nuclear that's waste. That's it takes excellent. away half of it. You're going to attack them anyway, aren't you? Not now. But later, yes. I will. <laughs> Might move this up the list. Actually, no research would be nice. Yeah, that's always good. It's getting close anyway. So yeah, we won't attack them yet. <laughs> no more pollution. Give me a chance to get the um, get the one city, that's the one planet up to uh. A good shape. Hmm. The uh, Okab or whatever would give me a chance to get some research points out of them. Also, we'll make a spy. I should make a spy. A spy. Ooh. How many points is that? Nine hundred. Okay, we can go for that probably. Next after one, uh, after battle scanners, yeah. Because moral, um, the thing about moral, it attributes to everything, so you can get better research and better production just through moral itself, and better farming. Cool. So that's the benefit of moral. Yep. So we made another research lab. Everybody's busy building. Oh look, you've converted another one to your cause. Yes. Slowly but surely. Guess I'll move these guys back to Ocob. For this now. is a gesture of goodwill? Yes. As I said, for now. For another, like, four turns. <laughs> Pretty much. Sphincter made a pollution processor. You know, because the environment. Yeah, that's it. 
since we're good friends, let's let's make a trade. Let's see what you can trade me. Missile base. Uh, yeah, that's actually not a bad trade. Awesome. Well, speaking of pollution and stuff, I was uh, scrapping a big projection TV from the 90s, and you know what I found on uh, one of the big metal plates near one of the TV tubes? What? A nice warning that said, "Do not handle unless uh, train unless you are a trained professional." Radiation guard. <laughs> and I just looked at it like, huh. I don't think this is a good idea anymore. So yeah, now we can make missile bases which are a quicker and more efficient way to place defenses on our colonies. So that's good. That and a uh, space base or space fortress. Uh, it's better than a star base. I mean, base. it's it's faster to build up than a star base. That's the pro to it. So you can defend your colony a little bit more easily. Downside, it's not as good as a star base. Yeah, it's not as good. Pretty much. So now we're gonna just huddle up and research a little bit more. Build stuff. Oh no. What is that? The Interrans are attacking. Who are they attacking? Us. Oh, and we finished battle scanners. Oh, that's cool. And we already had that, so I was like, uh, yeah, there's that too. Yeah, we can go for this. Oh! Is he good? Zero dollars per turn? He gives us ten dollars every turn? Uh, I think that's a yes. Yes! So now Okab is all ours? Yes. Woo! <laughs> They've been completely. So you're gonna want that missile base if the, uh, whatever they're attacking. The yeah. Ukamis are. No, they're. Why are they going? Oh, they're. Oh, they're attacking the clock on for us. <laughs> yep. Okay, that works. <laughs> Indeed. I could not complain. I compl couldn't complain either. They're just doing our job for us. Pretty much. So, yep. Great Mighty Poo made its missile base. Uh, yeah, just research. Have like one guy make a spy. Speed. So win it. So good question. Mm hmm. When everyone on the planet has been assimilated, quote unquote here, uh, does that mean you get your uh, troops back? Uh, I, my troops are just there. They're just sitting down. I think I can launch them. Either I have to build another transport ship. Yeah. See, this is them on the ground. Much. Can't launch them. Unfortunately. But they're there and they will kill anyone who tries to come near us. Exactly. That's always good. What? Yay! Oh. So we've officially made them lose all hope of ever being taken back. Yep, pretty much. If only it was that easy in Civ. In Civ, you can never get them to do any work, they just kind of bitch and complain and moan about it until the war's over and you've officially killed them all. Yeah, they're, they're having a little bit of a hard time. Trust me. Oh, look at that nice, nice world. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
finished the what? Factory? Yeah, they finished the factory. Time for marine barracks in the works. Bye, George. So much to make. It's not like we don't have the entire game to do it. Exactly. Spee! Neural scanners. Increases our spirals. So I was thinking either a hollow simulator or a planetary supercomputer, which will increase our research efforts by a lot. What does the hollow, uh, what does the 3D thing do? It increases morale. Morale couldn't hurt. Yeah, but I think... Oh, that's all it does? Okay. I thought it did something else. Wait, what does the alien management center do? Basically, it makes us assimilate uh, enemy, enemy enemy workers faster. Okay, that's what I figured it did. Mm -hmm. Shpi? Shpi. That is not what I want to research. I do want to get a neutron blaster, eventually. Should I go for a supercomputer? Yeah, I go for a supercomputer. I, the research is more worth it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Unless a hollow simulator made it where our guys could kill them in about one shot every time and not go to the Stormtrooper Academy, we'd be good. What does this one do? Hold on. Yeah, that is a pretty good good tech. But research first. What are they moving? Not a bad choice, Clackers. I thought Tiny made a good decision. Though it's a little close. To wait, so wait, they, did they lose that Corvus planet to the uh, people? Corvus? Corvus Where, where's Corvus? Right system? next to the box. Did they lose it? Yeah, they lost it. Oh, that's cool. Don't know how. The, uh, the whatever you call them is attacked. Are you sure? Because they would have taken it. If they attacked, they would have taken it. Oh, no, I don't know what they lost it to. Well, there's a different effects for one. They could have starved their people to death. They could have lost morale, and they could there could have been a rebellion. <laughs> Just some ideas. Oh, so red bad. One more turn. New spi. Anything else we can build? No, not really. All right. Next time, hopefully, we'll get some fancy schmancy computers on our planets and research some of the most devastating tech. So, toodaloo.